ECG showing P mitral and right ventricular hypertrophy. P mitral of left atrial enlargement is manifest as broad notched P waves in lead to classically seen in mitral stenosis. The broad negative P wave in V1 is also indicative of left atrial overload. QR pattern in V1 with T wave inversion in anterior leads is suggestive of right ventricular hypertrophy. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The QRS axis appears to be in the northwest or indeterminate region which could be a manifestation of extreme right axis deviation due to right ventricular hypertrophy as a consequence of pulmonary hypertension and severe mitral stenosis. The T waves in V5 and V6 are unusually tall. Lead to rhythm strip at the bottom of the tracing documents a normal sinus rhythm which can any time degenerate into atrial fibrillation in this case with gross left atrial overload. Such degeneration into atrial fibrillation can cause rapid initial deterioration in clinical status sometimes presenting as pulmonary edema. Patients with severe pulmonary hypertension due to obliteration of pulmonary vascular bed can sometimes be protected from pulmonary edema as the right ventricular output is restricted to certain extent, which could also be due to right ventricular dysfunction and associated tricuspid regurgitation. P wave area is measured in Ashman units. One Ashman unit is 1 square millimeter on the standard ECG recording with paper speed of 25 millimeter per second and 1 centimeter per millivolt. It will be 0.1 millivolt into 0 0.04 seconds or 0 0.004 millivolt second or 4 microvolt second. Here are a couple of references on Ashman unit. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.